add header footer scripts, meta, Google, or any other marketing pixel or any code snippet on your WordPress website easily, quickly, and safely using WP code. Check it out from the links in the description or scan this QR code. Do you not like the blog paste widget editor in WordPress? This new one which shipped with WordPress 5.8, converting all the classic widgets to basically blocks. If yes, then in this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways how to disable it and get back the classic widgets. Let's start with method number one. The first method to disable blog paste widgets and bring back the classic widgets is by adding a code snippet to your functions.php file. Now, if you're a beginner and you might think, oh, I have to edit my WordPress files, this is gonna be risky. Yes, it can be risky, but instead of editing our file directly, I'm gonna suggest an alternate way, which is much safer, and will give you control so that you can disable it anytime. I'm talking about adding a code management plugin. And what these plugins allow you to do is manage code snippets on your site. So if you have to add a code snippet to add or remove functionality, or to add, let's say, the Facebook pixel, the Google pixel, or some tracking pixels, then all of that can be done without touching your WordPress files. It's very safe. So let me show you how to add that to your WordPress website. So what we'll do is we'll go into the plugin section and we'll go to add new plugin. And inside the add new plugin, this is the WordPress repository. I'm just gonna search for the plugin called WP Code. It's the best code management or code, that's a snippet management solution for WordPress. You can see it right here. Two plus million active installs, amazing five-star ratings. Uh, so this is the fantastic plugin. I'm gonna tell you another great feature inside WP Code, which will make your life even easier. So click install now. And once the plugin is installed, let's also activate it. And now you see the plugin is installed. You can see the menu entry here. So you can go into anything here, or you can also go into the code snippet section here. Let's click the code snippets and this, this will bring us to the code snippet section. Now, you can see a couple of snippets already here and you might be alarmed, hey, where's the snippet coming from? Don't worry, these are just examples because these are disabled, right? So these are disabled, they're not enabled and they're not affecting your website in any way. Now, the best part about WP code is that you don't have to create snippets from scratch unless you are coding a custom functionality. WP code with, brings it with it, a variety of code snippets already accessible and available to you. Let me show you how. When we click this button called add new, we can create a new code snippet, so custom snippet. But you can see so many snippets are actually already available to us, which we can just click and these snippets will be added and then a functionality will be disabled or added to WordPress. For example, uh, allow SVG file upload. WordPress doesn't natively allow you to upload SVG files, so you can just enable it. Disable automatic updates, just click this and it will be added. Disable attachment pages, completely disable comments, disable automatic update emails, all this kind of uh, say niche functionality that you might not have a feature inside WordPress. Now with just a click, you can add it to your site. Now what I'll do is I'll go here and just search for widget. And you can see there's already a code snippet here called disable widget blocks and use classic widgets. So I'm gonna use this one, but let me clarify. If you connect your account to WP Code's website, which is free by the way, the free version of WP Code, you won't have to pay anything. You will get 110 free code snippets additional to what you see here. So that's even more powerful. So right now we don't need it. So I'm not gonna go do it, but I'm just gonna use this code snippet here. Disable widget blocks, use classic widgets. Let's click the use snippet button and do the heavy lifting for us. It'll create the snippet, add the code snippet, uh, everything is done. You can see the code snippet has a name, disable widget blocks, use classic widgets. It selected the code type for us already, which is the PHP type snippet. It's added the PHP code for us as well. Technically, if you wanted to do this the traditional way, you would have to take this file or you would have to fire it. Uh, I said, write this or find this and then edit your own WordPress functions or PHP file. Again, risky, but here it's very, very easy. The additional functionality you can see on the screen, but you don't have to customize or change it. So it runs everywhere, it's auto-inserted, and it works uh, perfectly. There are some additional features in WP Code if you want to upgrade to the pro version, like code revisions, conditional logic, and all those kinds of things. And they are fantastic features as well, but we don't need it for now. So once you're happy, once everything is set up, all you have to do is just click this inactive button, which is inactive by, the, by now or for now, but you click on it and the snippet becomes active. And once it's active, just click the update button and the code snippet will be enabled on the side. You can see the snippet is updated. So let's go back to snippets by going into the menu here, code snippets. 
and we'll see that this snippet is now here and only this snippet is active by the way right this is active and the rest of, uh, of them are disabled at any point of time if you change your mind you can always come back and disable this and wordpress behavior will change back to the regular snippets so now this code snippet is active so let's go and actually check how the functionality has changed so we'll go into appearance once again and we'll go into widgets and inside the widgets now you see we have the classic widgets so you can see the image sidebar i can take it back i can add the navigation menu in the sidebar i can add footer base cloud tag clouds the classic widgets have been enabled and just to give you a demonstration how easy it is to disable code snippets if i go back into code snippets code snippets and then just disable it just one click nothing else i'll go back to appearance and i'll go to widgets once again and now we have the traditional block based widget back so that's how easy it is to use wp code and bring back the old i say classic widgets in wordpress this is method number one let me also demonstrate a method number two which is also as easy but i say not as flexible so talking about method number two to bring back the classic widgets again we'll use a plugin but a different plugin so let me first demonstrate the current state of uh, the WordPress widgets. I have disabled the code snippet that I demonstrated earlier. So I'll, once again, if I go into appearance, I go to widgets and you'll see the block based widgets. So I, right now I'm on block based widgets, even though WP uh, code is installed because I've disabled the code snippet. So let me demonstrate the method number two. Once again, we'll go to the plugin section here. We'll go to add a new plugin. I'm going to search for a plugin called classic widgets. So the very descriptive name classic widgets and this is a plugin that's uh, created and maintained by the wp core team so you can see this is by wordpress contributors again two plus million active installs five stars great plugin but if you just want this functionality this plugin is great as, as i'll demonstrate it works but if you want to have additional functionality so you can customize it wp core is much more powerful in my opinion so you can decide which plugin is right for you once again i'll click install now and the plugin will start installing let's wait for a few seconds Let's click activate and voila, classic widgets has been installed and let's go back to appearance and widgets and see how it works. Well, bring back the classic editor once again or the classic widgets once again. So once again, if I go into plugin section, install plugins, we have both plugins installed, but the classic widgets is what's acting here right now to bring back the classic widgets. If I deactivate this plugin, just to give you an example, I can go back and go to widgets and you'll, now we'll see the block paste uh, widgets again. And if I go to code snippets and inside the code snippets by WP code, I can enable the code snippet here. And this is a much faster and easier way in my opinion. And once again, if you go back to appearance, widgets, now we'll have classic widgets back. So that's the easiest way to bring back classic widgets in WordPress using WP code, I'd say more flexible, but as easy as the second method, which is just installing the classic widgets plugin. If you have more questions about WordPress, the comment box is open. Like this video, subscribe to our channel for continuous WordPress education. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.